Hi, welcome. So in this Udemy class, a clear logical argument, yeah, that's right, guaranteed, using a universal, precise, and fail-safe logic template for any real-world argument. A lot of promises there. My job is to fill them. So let's start with, uh, in this segment, basic terminology and concepts. Now, there's not a lot of them, but you can't avoid at least uh, putting your toe in the water on some of them to get started. And actually, there's, there's very few that we need to cover right at the beginning. But let's start right in. The first one is conclusion. A conclusion is a statement that you want the audience to accept as true. Sometimes it is called a claim, contention, or thesis. It's the perspective of reality that you want to prove as a fact. For example, here we have, the president was born in Hawaii. So if we were trying to convince somebody that that statement was true, this would be our conclusion. The next term is reason. And a reason is the single line of connected sentences, sometimes called premises, that are intended to lead the audience to accept that the conclusion is true with some degree of certainty. For example, and here we have two sentences. The first one is, the president has a Hawaiian birth certificate and the second sentence that comprises the reason is having a Hawaiian birth certificate proves a Hawaiian birth. So we've talked about conclusion, reason. Our third term is premise. And a premise is a sentence, proposition, that when connected, and we'll say linked, to other sentences form a line of reasoning. And of course, these two sentences are premises because together they form the reasoning that supports the conclusion. Our last one is argument. And an argument is the combination of the conclusion and the reason. So in this example, the argument would consist of the conclusion, which is the president was born in Hawaii, and the two premises that together form the reason, because you could say because the president has a Hawaiian birth certificate and having a Hawaiian birth certificate proves a Hawaiian birth. Now remember in this segment right here, we're just working on terminology. We're not worried about the structure of argument. Just some basic terms to get down. Now, we're going to move into a concept here, which is the concept of a good argument. And a good argument depends on the believability of its premises and a structurally correct logical form. Well, so you have two, two criteria here, or two characteristics that are involved. And I've used the metaphor of a bridge uh, to symbolize an argument. And here we have, so the first characteristic, remember, of the good argument is the degree to which the sentences, those are the premises, that comprise the line of reasoning are subjectively perceived to be true. And you'll notice it says the degree, so we're not talking solely about uh, deductive validity, you know, absolutely true, absolutely false. You know, we're in the real world here and there's degrees of believability, just like in court, you can have beyond a reasonable doubt or, you know, other standards. So that's the first characteristic. Uh, and like a bridge, you can think of that as these premises are like the components of the bridge. And if there if those components aren't 
sufficiently strong in and of themselves, uh, you wouldn't want to travel on that bridge. And you wouldn't want to rely on the argument. The other piece of a good argument right here, number two, is whether the audience perceives the structure. And that's the form or the pattern of the argument to be logical, structurally correct. Now we're going to talk about more of that in just a moment. So you can have a bridge with uh, individual components that are strong. Let's say they're really true. But if they're not put together in the right logical form, just like the components of a bridge, if they're not put together correctly, the bridge will collapse and similarly your, your argument will fail. So in this course we're going to be focusing on number two, seeing that the structure is clearly logical. So continuing with the, the metaphor of a bridge, you know, there's different types of structures, logical structures. Uh, in bridges, what do you have? I'm not an engineer, but cable stay, open spandrel, deck arch, cantilever spans, whipple trapezoidal truss, you know, and in the, in the, in the same fashion, um, there's different strictly defined structurally correct designs for certain types of arguments. Now what makes this course so valuable is that you're going to learn the one form that accommodates any type of argument. So you only need to learn one structure or template and it'll work for, for any kind of argument that you're dealing with. Another concept to keep in mind is that the underlying structure of a good line of reasoning may not always be readily apparent. Just like if you look at, here's the infinity loop bridge in China. And if you look at that, it's not really obvious, at least to me, precisely what correct structural form it's relying on that gives us its soundness happens to be a solid rib arch. Uh, but you wouldn't necessarily know that at first glance. And the same thing can be with arguments. Um, so what's important when you're laying out the your reasoning is that the logic is self-evident to the audience. Because if it's not obvious to the audience, it's not going to hold together. And, and we're going to focus on both making sure that the form is logical, but also that it's, it's clearly obvious to the audience. Thank you.